We're at Acorn Knoll Disc Golf Course. Uh, it is a pay to play. Well, you got to pay to have a permit to go like in the park. And there's also like a $3 uh, disc golf fee. Uh, I did not pay any of that because I went to the park office and the park office had closed one minute uh, prior to me showing up. So the guy was like, yeah, we're closed now. And I was like, so what do I do? And he's like, just go play. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go play. And uh, yeah, if, uh, <laughs> if I get a ticket uh, or I go to jail, you know, oh well, at least I got to play disc golf. Well, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. We do that a lot. Just off to a rip and start. Let's get it moving back in the right direction. Hole 13, 281 feet. We got a big tree right in the middle of the fairway. It shouldn't be too much of an issue, you know, knock on wood. Huh. I don't know why I laugh, but it's like knock on wood, but then frisbee on wood and that. Anyways, the basket is like a little to the left down there, guarded by all these trees. It looks like there's a gap in the fairway, like right behind this tree, but I think I'm just gonna try to throw straight at the pin and hope that something good happens. I hit the gap, but go in the wrong direction.
Well, 17, 200 feet. This is very wooded. Baskets that way, and so are the trees. So, wish me luck. Okay. I didn't hit a tree, so. Okay, well, walking to the next tee pad. Hopefully, I'm going the right direction. But there's a sign that says holes 18 through 22 are closed. Proceed to the next tee pad. So we just finished 17. And so we're going to what I presume to be 23 because 18 and 22 are, or 18 through 22 are closed. I don't know why. I see some, there's some tee pads right here that look like they've been freshly dug up. You can see the soft dirt underneath, obviously discolored. So maybe repurposing land, maybe redesigning the course. I don't know what it is, but just something to be on the lookout for. On UDISC, it is listed as a 24 hole course. So there were 24. I don't know if there will be any more. If anyone who watches this video is a local or even someone who is involved in the park, if you would please be so kind as to comment down below uh, and inform us to what's going on, that'd be awesome. I'll share some thoughts while I walk here. And theoretically, I'm not looking at you disc right now because I'm filming. So hopefully I'm going the right direction. I like the course. I am not blown away by anything. I think it's a well, decently well-designed woods course with some clearly uh, defined fairways, which is good. And so that being said, for a course that you have to pay for, and I know I didn't pay today, and not, not without trying, if you're just skipping to this part of the video, I, uh, I tried, but they said the office was closed and that I should just go ahead and play. Anyways, yeah, I don't know. Um, it just doesn't, it's really short, and yes, I, I am, whoops, I am playing the short pads, so I understand that it's like, okay, well, don't complain that it's short if you're playing the short ones. The long ones, the long ones are a little bit longer, but they don't offer that much different. I, they do a little bit. Some of them are angled a little differently, so you might have to approach different lines, and I like that. But a lot of them are kind of stacked on top of each other. So obviously I like that there's variety and there's options. If there's only one tee pad, then that's worse than not, you know, having another one. It's not, I guess, not really a negative thing, but just know that if you play the shorts, they are really short. And if you play the longs, I would consider that to be more normal, except for maybe hole 14 or 15, whatever the long, the long open shot is. That long tee pad is actually long. But either way, it is a woods course, technical. You got some shot shaping to do, and it looks like it's probably still under construction. So I don't know, you know, maybe they can improve on a few things here and there. It is just really wet and muddy, and that's not anyone's fault. Uh, so that's not really a judgment, but some parts of the course do appear to drain uh, much better than others. So that could be improved upon, but again, not really anyone's fault. Uh, the land is the land and rain will rain. So. Let's go ahead and finish this out with uh, two more holes to play. Dang, would you look at that lie? That water was mighty close. Just to clarify the throw, you saw me throw, is that one that's in the water. My first throw was with the pink putter, I just forgot to record it, so believe me if you want. Okay, I'm gonna keep this brief because uh, the final hole is right by the road. It's kind of noisy with the road noise. It's crazy how that works. So this has been a Knoll at uh, Willow Metro Park, I think, in Lake Huron Township. I, I talked a little bit as I was walking from 17's basket to 23's tee pad because holes 18 through 22 are closed. But either way, this is a nice wooded track. I don't know how long it's been here. I don't know if it's going to continue to change and develop. I think it's it's pretty well taken care of. I mean, the fairways are, are mowed. It is winter, so it's not really, you know, like nothing's blooming to be taken care of, but so far it, it seems like it's clean. Um, some fairways were muddy, but that's water. Uh, I had some criticism of like the long and short tee pad. I'm not usually very critical, and I'm bad at being critical because I feel like if I don't have a really good reason to be critical, then I'm just coming off as pretentious, which might be true regardless. I think what I've decided that I want to say is that this course is not my favorite course, and that's okay because you can only have like one true favorite course, and if you have all the courses that you like, they're just, you know, you run out of room on your favorites list. I also might have slight burnout from new courses because this is the eighth course that I have played 
in three days. That being said, I think it's a nice course. I think it's a fun play. If you're nearby, I advise you check it out. I don't think I would make it my home course if I lived close by. I'd probably opt for um, some of the other courses in the area. That being said, nice to have a wooded course, technical course, course that forces you to shape some shots and uh, maybe divert from what you might try on like a more open hole. So all that being said, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, well, I just chatted with a couple guys uh, who are locals here and they were just talking about how this course used to be a little bit better. They said that the course, the holes that got ripped out 18 through 22, it's because the land there was owned by the highway department and the rest of the course is owned by the Metro Park Department. So they said it's due for a redesign at some point. They're gonna try to, you know, not just have those holes missing, but actually kind of redesign the course and change the starting hole, all that good stuff. I'm excited to see what the course looks like then because my, my opinion of this course is what it is right now. And I, I look forward to seeing what they do with it in the future and improving it. I think it has potential to be a lot better than it is right now. What, what the, the other thing they also said was that right now is a great time to play the course because the fairways aren't that muddy compared to how bad they can be. And then the bugs are really, really bad, I guess with all the standing water. So either way, thought I'd add that to the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.